A few years back, I took my weighing scale inside the elevator and stood on it. You can see my weight right now is 64 kilograms, back when I was thin. Now look at what happens to my weight when the elevator just starts moving. Do you see that? It changed, my weight increased momentarily. This confused me thoroughly because I was taught that weight is the same thing as gravity. Gravity is not changing, so how can weight change? Well, this is a big lie. <laughs> weight is not the same thing as gravity. In fact, you can have weight without gravity. You can be weightless even with gravity. So if weight is not the same thing as gravity, what exactly is weight? I'm standing over here at rest on Earth and there is a force of gravity acting on me, F equals mg. Now if I plug in what my mass was back then when I was thin, which was 64 kilograms and g is 10 meters per second square, then the gravitational force acting on me happens to be 640 newtons. But that's not weight. That's th what I'm trying to explain over here. Then what exactly is weight? Well, let's think from first principle. I know weight is whatever my weighing scale is measuring. So what exactly is the weighing scale measuring? Weighing scale measures how much I am pressing on it. So that is our weight. So weight represents the force I am putting on the weighing scale, how much I am pressing on the weighing scale. But from Newton's third law, that is exactly the same as the force that the weighing scale is pushing up on me with. And so that is what weight is. The force with which the floor or the weighing scale pushes back on me, that's weight. Now in this example, because I'm at rest, I'm not accelerating, the forces on me must be balanced. And so in this particular case, weight happens to be the same as the gravitational force. This was a simple boring case. Now let's make things interesting. Let me throw you inside an elevator and put you in some deep intergalactic space where there is no gravity. You'll keep floating around, but what if now I attach a rocket to your elevator and blast the whole thing up, accelerating it upwards? Ah, now as the elevator accelerates towards your feet, the weighing scale will start pushing up on you. It'll push up on you and accelerate you as well. And since the weighing scale is being pressed, there will be some weight right in front of your eyes. No gravity, but there will be weight. And if you calculate how much that weight is, since that is the only force acting on you, we can say that force should equal ma. My mass stays the same, 64. Acceleration is 10 meters per second square. So the weight is going to be 640 newtons. Exactly the same number as what I got earlier, which means the weighing scale will read exactly the same number as before. But is this really weight? Do you feel this weight? If we go back on Earth and consider your neck muscles, your head tries to fall down due to gravity, but it doesn't fall, why? Well, because of your neck muscles and your spinal cord, probably. So all of those muscles and the bone is pushing up on your head, balancing its weight. And from Newton's third law, your head is gonna push back on the neck with equal and opposite force. And it's these forces that make you feel your weight in your neck and your head. Now, is the same thing happening in the outer space? Well, let's see. Here there's no gravity acting on your head, but your head is accelerating upwards at 10 meters per second squared because your whole body is accelerating upwards. Who is pushing up on that head? It has to be the neck muscles and that same spinal cord and all of that. And again, from Newton's third law, your head in return will push back on the neck. And so look, the forces are exactly the same as it was on Earth your neck and head would feel exactly the same as it was on Earth. Your entire body would feel exactly the same as it was on Earth. You have weight. Even though gravity is zero, your weight exists. Now let's consider the other extreme. You are inside the elevator on Earth, but you're falling, you're freely falling. So there's gravity acting on you, but would you have weight? Your whole body is accelerating down due to gravity and it's trying to press on the weighing scale but your entire elevator and the weighing scale is also accelerating down together. Your feet and the, ele yeah, and, and, and the weighing scale are accelerating down together, so it's not able to catch up with it, and so it's not going to get pressed. So the weighing scale is not pressed, your weight is zero. You have gravity, but you have no weight. And what's happening inside your body? Well, if you look at your head, it's accelerating down because it's actually falling down this time, but the neck and the rest of the body is also accelerating down at the same rate. They're not able to catch up and therefore there is no forces acting over here 
And so your neck, your head, no forces, don't feel any weight. Your entire body feels weightless. There's gravity, but you are weightless. And the same thing's happening to the astronauts in the space station. The astronauts are falling down due to gravity, but the whole space station is also falling down. They're not unable to press on the floor. They don't feel any weight. Their whole body feels weightless. There's gravity, there's no weight. Okay, now does the elevator demo make sense? Why did my weight increase momentarily? When I pressed on the sixth floor, the floor started accelerating upwards. The weighing scale got pressed more than when I was at rest, that increased the weight. And it's not just the reading, but my I felt that in the entire body and actually that's what makes me dizzy when I'm inside the elevator. But why was it only momentary? Because the elevator is only accelerating for a few seconds. After that, I am back to uniform motion, my acceleration goes to zero, my forces become balanced, and I get the same weight as I had when I was at rest. So what is weight? It's the force with which you are pushing down on the weighing scale or on the floor, which is the same as the force with which the floor is pushing back up on you. And this need not be the same thing as gravity, especially when you start accelerating, these two forces will not longer be balanced, your weight can be anything. Have you wondered why cricket bat feels so much heavier when you hold it from its handle? I have wondered that, let's explore that in this video.